The call for President Ramaphosa to suspend Lope recently drew mixed reaction. We need to see integrity and uh, I absolutely welcome this finding and uh, support it. Uh, we need to make sure that uh, you know, we, we uh, see the, the judiciary as impartial, uh, we see the integ integrity of the justice system and uh, I think it is only correct that uh, after the finding of this tribunal um, that uh, this uh, judge be suspended. We appreciate, however, that the Commission's finding is subject to an appeal to the Supreme Court of Appeal and that these legal processes will take some time to finalise one way or the other. The integrity and dignity of the judiciary must always be protected. Nobody is above the law. We support this step. It is a step in the right direction. However, Lopez supporters, including some Cape Town-based lawyers and the Black People's National Crisis Committee, recently picketed outside Parliament, calling on the President not to suspend him. The Presidency for a long time has not exercised that prerogative. And uh, at this stage, Judge President Slopi is also a litigant. So they should allow the legal process to follow its due course. We cannot have a system where um, other litigants are allowed to allow the due process to go through. But then for one specific person, um, the, they are not allowed to exercise their right in terms of litigating the matter. Sope is now back in the High Court to stop the President from suspending him. In his court papers, he argues that the JSE acted unlawfully by advising the President to suspend him when there is an appeal pending in the Supreme Court of Appeal. He is also challenging the constitution of the JSE when he took the resolution. But some legal analysts disagree. He seems to have misconstrued the nature of the suspension itself. He is not being punished by being suspended. The suspension is of a precautionary nature and it is put in place in order to preserve the dignity and efficacy of the judiciary itself. The prospects of Judge Lopez's court application do not seem too strong. The reason is because uh, the JSC had previously undertaken that, undertaken that they would not place him on suspension in 2012. That was well before the Judicial Conduct Tribunal had found him guilty of misconduct. Even after the JSC had found Judge Lope guilty of gross misconduct in August of 2021, the JC gave an undertaking that they will not proceed with his suspension until his court review, his high court review, was heard. The high court review was heard and a decision came out in May of 2022, which meant that the JC could then proceed with the suspension. Therefore, um, Judge Lopez's argument that the JC could not act while his court review is on appeal seems to uh, miss understand the law and therefore is unlikely to succeed. President Ramaphosa is still considering the JSC's recommendation and it's unclear whether Tlope will suffer the same fate as public protector Busisu M. Kwebani by suspending him. Mercedes Besend, SABC News, Parliament.